Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Odin Spark Videos. Uh, this is our demo page, as you guys may or may not be aware of. And uh, what we're going to be getting into today is how to host your um, podcast. Yeah, how about that? What we're trying to do right now is help people out there who are podcasters who also have a WordPress page. This is a three-part video. Part one, I'm going to show you how to install the plugin. Part two follows this one. And it's going to be me showing you basically like how to add the podcast to your actual um, WordPress page. So how to add it to a post. And then part three is just going over the nuances of the uh, program that we have chosen for this task. So first thing we have to do is install a plugin. So we're going to go to plugins, going to go to add new, and we're going to do a search. Should be Buzzsprout Podcasting. There it is, Buzzsprout Podcasting. Go to install. Hit OK, and then activate the plugin. Once the plugin's activated, you should go ahead and go under the settings area, and you should see it there. Click there, and it's going to ask you for your Buzzsprout feed address URL. Now, if you do not have a feed address URL, you can always click on this little bad boy here and sign up. You can get a free account, or you can get a paid account. Um, currently we use a paid account uh, here's an example of one that we have here is uh, for a podcast known as Flix Fix and basically you would have this as your uh, home page after you sign up and you have your own account if you don't let me just log out you're gonna go to this page so from this page it will give you the rundown you can watch a quick demo here um, it'll give you a rundown of everything you can do on the website um, and then there's the screenshot tour, but we're just going to go ahead and log in. Now there's plans and, plans and pricing here, but I do not like showing prices of things because prices are subject to change. Uh, at the time of this video, something could be $5, and if you watch it two years from now, it could be $20. So I don't want to set up any false expectations for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. I can actually type here we go Close that all right so from here you're logged in now so be on your best behavior uh, this is the actual website now when you have an account you'll get these episodes here and these are the current episodes during your billing cycle and all these are episodes it tells you the duration it tells you the name of the artist and also the date in which it was posted and below is your episode history it will show you all the historical data of all the episodes that you've ever like uploaded and then a description if you so choose to add a description. Um, it's fairly cut and dry and it's pretty easy to use. So let's go ahead and go to update your podcast info. And from here is where you'll put in all the information that you want to add into iTunes. It has a little screenshot here of how it would look when it shows up in iTunes. So this is the title. Here's your description of the video, or not the video, but the uh, podcast series. There's your art, where it would fall at, um, the author's name, the website's address, uh, email address if you want to use that. And you can check this box off if you have explicit content, um, you know, just to let everybody know. And then here's your little icon here to uh, import your existing episodes if you're moving from a previous service to their service. Now, let's go ahead and go down to the promotional area. In the promotional area, that is where you'll get your RSS feed. And we're gonna go to the WordPress page. On the WordPress page, you wanna copy, paste the URL just like that, and then you wanna save its changes. Once you save the changes, it will give you um, a little thing down here. It'll tell you this is how you add it. Uh, if you want to include the Flash player, just click yes, save the changes again. Um, the number of episodes it will return is five. So let's go to a new post. All posts. And I just have the hello world here. I'm just going to go tinker with that. Why not? And then from there, you're going to click on this button here. Click on the Buzzsprout podcasting. And then from there, it should show you the last five episodes that you uploaded. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. There's not much configurations done with this actual plugin. It's, like I said, very cut and dry. You just give it the Buzzsprout URL in that one area that I showed you, save it, and then go into this area here and here to choose the episode. 
in section two of this particular series, you'll see how to upload an episode to the Buzzsprout uh, website and how to add it to your post. So go ahead and click on the little box that should be appearing here in the, in the actual window. And when you click on that box, it should take you over to the next video. Or if you look over on the side there, you should see a part two to this actual video. Anyways, guys, this is Odin from OdinSpark.com. Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure to like this, share this, and tell your friends about us.